In this video, you'll learn how to set up API keys and enable billing in the Subgraph Studio. To get started, visit thegraph.com slash studio. Next, click Connect Wallet to connect the wallet that you'll be working with. Next, click on Billing to view the billing dashboard. Here, you can see your account balance as well as any costs that you've incurred during the current billing period. To enable billing, you must have both GRT as well as Ether available in your wallet. Here, click on Deposit. Billing is handled on the Matic sidechain to decrease both transaction times as well as transaction costs. In this step, we can move GRT to the Matic network directly in the Studio UI. Once the GRT is successfully moved to Matic, we can now switch to the Matic network. To view the details of the Matic network, visit docs.matic.network slash docs slash develop slash network dash details slash network. Here, you can view the details that we'll need to import into our MetaMask wallet, including the network name, the chain ID, and the RPC address. Once the network is configured in your MetaMask wallet, we can now move on to the next step. We can now move our GRT from our wallet balance into our billing balance. We're now ready to create an API key. Once the API key is created, we can now scope it down to both authorized subgraphs as well as authorized domains. To scope an API key to a subgraph, we first need the subgraph ID. Subgraph IDs are available in the Graph Explorer detail view for the specific subgraph. Now that the API key has been configured, we can start using it to query our subgraph.